extra extra read all about it virgo this is all about you this is an oracle energy reading it is not a horoscope so it is a reading on virgo's energies so wherever virgo influences your natal chart sun moon rising venus mars whatever or if it's influencing you outside of your your natal chart as in somebody somebody you're dealing with is a virgo this is all about that. It's all about those energies. There is always an extended reading, Virgo, uh, which includes a full tarot card spread that goes, it articulates the reading more, it articulates the energies, personalizes it, and goes into specifics. And it also includes a full romance reading. So that link is below, and I hope you join me after this energy reading. Um, there's no dates on these videos anymore, and I'm, I'm sure that they come to you when they're supposed to, but I do do a new Virgo video every single week. So if you subscribe to my channel, not only do you help the channel grow, but you also can ring that bell and get notified when I upload all the content that you're looking for. And so please do subscribe, like, and share this video. It helps the channel, and I'm grateful. So Virgo, let's get into your energies. Ooh, if you wanna make a quick check, um, of what you're doing, of sort of romance in your life, maybe romance in the life of the person that you're dealing with. Um, there's also a romantic tarot reading. You can find it on this channel too. I do one of those every single week too. Oh, Virgo, 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 Virgo. What has come out? One, one card. Spirit has a plan. This to me tells me you're having a lot of faith. You're connected to a sense of maybe I don't know everything and maybe I can't control everything. And that's very difficult for you, but it's also extremely evolved of you. So there's a lot of maturity when a Virgo decides, you know what? I have to put it all in the hands of the higher power because right now, if I tried to control everything that was going on around me, if I tried to forget about control, if I tried to make sense out of everything that was going on around me, I would drive myself insane because I wouldn't be capable of it. So what I have to do now is hand it over to God. And I just saw two, two, two. So that's a good sign of you're on the right track, um, making the right decisions and the decisions that will help to balance your life. And I think that faith is a huge balancing factor in your life right now. Whatever you have faith in, this is my Buddha card. So rub the Buddha belly for good fortune and enlightenment. But it's, it's, you don't have to be Buddhist. It's, it's whatever you're having faith in. You could just be having faith in yourself, in society, in the universe, um, God, a religion that you practice in. It's about faith. It's about connecting to something outside of yourself to feel more grounded in your own world. This is also a sense of destiny. So a sense that you've been having, and you've probably been having this a lot lately because you do run very intuitive. So a sense of something is happening here, something greater, there's a purpose beyond and outside of what I can see and understand. And a sense of patience and vigilance, as in I'm going to watch, I'm gonna see. So the fact that you're being more passive does not mean that you're not being observe, observant because at, you are actively observant, um, but passively um, active. Does that make sense? Yeah, like yeah, that's that's what it is. You're actively observing the situation and and feeling really in some ways connected to an understanding that um, things are gonna be okay. Yeah, that things are gonna be okay. There's a sense of confidence and peace. Now, yes, I'm sure that you feel the chaos, absolutely. But there's also, at least what is giving you peace is this connection to, let's see how all of this plays out or this has, there has to be a reason for this. Maybe even a wisdom or understanding, a knowing somehow, a, sort of an insight into the higher purpose. So this doesn't have to be just spiritual. This could be whatever you're dealing with in your life. If you've been seeing conflict or yeah, uh, with, with people that you care about or within your family or within your relationships, this is a sense of stepping back and maybe you have some insight that other people don't have, knowing something that other people don't know. Um, and not in the ha ha ha, I know everything, more in the understanding. 
like able to understand what's going on in a way that allows you to be calm, maybe calmer than you would be. Um, maybe calmer than you would be. So there's another card that just popped out and this is be peace, but it's in reverse. So this is a sense of imbalance and upset and frustration. And it's coming out simultaneously with your koala energy. And I think that that's 100% the confirmation of what it is, is faith is the only way that you can feel balanced right now because of the chaos. Maybe your faith has deepened. Maybe your, maybe your ability to look deeper has deepened. Maybe your ability to um, watch, wait, and understand before you decide is deepening because that's the way you're getting a sense of stability right now. Be here now, more Libra energy. This is also unbalanced. This could be you're dealing with a Libra who isn't acting right, okay? I mean, so there's like a, a philosophical, more uh, esoteric interpretation. And then there is a more uh, 3D world uh, interpretation. It's like having insight and sitting back and watching somebody that you care about, especially if they are a Libra, act like a fool. Um, or be unbalanced or be unfair, which is very unlibran, which is which means they're acting out of character. Uh, be here now. This is Libra energy. Um, also, three plus four is adding up to seven. So that is creation. Focusing on what you can influence right now. Focusing on the beauty of the moment. So that's also giving you a lot of peace of mind, a sense of looking at the way things are now and realizing that they aren't the way that they used to be. If you, especially if you are dealing with a Libra, this is a sense of trying to see them and trying to see the beauty in what they are now um, because they have changed. There has definitely been a shift of character and you're trying, you're trying to see the beauty in, in what's going on in, in them now. Um, and you're definitely trying to see the beauty in the circumstance at hand because this is beauty. This is a v Venetian energy of just falling in love with the moment and um, suckling on the nectar of life of just what's in front of you right now. As if what's in front of you right now is giving you peace and giving you harmony maybe even asylum from the sort of chaos or bigger problem that you're dealing with or that is influencing your life but that you can't control. Um, the miracles are endless. So this is a lot of love and beauty is surrounding you. And the uh, it's not a hopeless cause. There's a lot of abundance and uh, happiness. So there's a lot of things for you to be focusing on right now that are actually still working out despite craziness, despite, a, a, it's like an outside craziness. Of course, there's a lot of external craziness now, right? Especially. Um, but this is like, in terms of your life, you're still worried about somebody who you can't change. And even though you tell yourself rationally, it doesn't make any sense to be worried about them or to be thinking about them, you still can't because something about it is still getting, getting at you. But simultaneously, there's enough going on in the rest of your life, especially your immediate life, to distract you, to make you feel good and happy and be reminded that, you know what, this person doesn't really have... This, this, this situation or this craziness outside of me um, doesn't really have anything to do with me or at the same time doesn't want anything to do with me. So how can I influence it or impact it? And why am I worried about it? Because I have so many good things happening and those good things are wonderful and let them keep happening. But there is a sense of trying to somehow rationalize or be, um, be philosophical about this situation or circumstance that's happening outside of you, and it's not 100% effective. And I think it's just because it still bothers you, and you're, you're right, you're, you're, being, you're being active in that you're trying to find ways to heal by, by, by thinking through it, but it's not, it's emotional, and it's never gonna make sense. And so I think if you really want to get through it, you have to feel what you feel including breaking down and crying and letting yourself, even if it's, you think that, even if you had already done that and you just decided enough is enough, 
clearly it wasn't enough. There's still something there that needs to be squeezed out. All right, now is a lucky time. Like, whoa, whoa. You've got the most lucky cards in the deck. If, if the grasshopper jumps out, <laughs> if the grasshopper jumps out, I'm telling you right now, this is like your week. But Virgo, there's such abundance here. Um, uh, an abundance of children. This could be babies being made. This could be a conception. This could also be having the resources to be able to take care of your family and be able to like hunker down and be able to like be safe and, and be cozy. This is a sense of... You know that you're going to be okay. It's, it is going to be okay. It's also luck and opportunity moving forward into the future. A lot of beauty. And whatever you're dealing with right now, it, like whatever is new in your life, whatever is in front of you right now, there's a lot of abundance and growth right there. So that there, there's enough to make you feel safe and protected even though something is making you feel drained. Because look at Reclaim Your Power is coming out as the central energy. And there, yeah... What I'm telling you right now, crowning your energy because it's still on your mind. Whatever this situation is, is sucking away your self-esteem. It's making you feel shitty about yourself. And Virgo, that's something that you have got to address. What is it? What is it something that you feel like you did or maybe you haven't completely been honest? Not with others, but honest with yourself. This is a sense of it could be, especially with this card, imbalance. A sense of <clears throat> were you really honest with yourself about the situation were you because if you weren't that's what you have to work on you have to you have to get real with with yourself um, you don't have to share it with anybody else you don't even have to like you don't have to purge but you do have to get real with yourself because I said maybe there is a situation or circumstance that you tried to like that you tried to level out and you tried to make it seem like it wasn't what it was You know, sometimes when we get caught out and, and, and we, we make it seem more rational and we justify it and we're really convincing and sometimes we even convince ours. It's like, have you convinced yourself of your own lie? That's, that's the question. Because this card implies that you have. That you've sort of convinced, you, you've convinced yourself of your own lie and everything looks really great on the outside and, and and yeah it looks it looks like she's telling the truth he's telling the truth but are you because there's something here emotionally you're not you, you didn't tell the emotional truth and that's what it's still getting to you and you're sort of uh, taking the benefits of everybody believing that you're fine right and oh life is so good and everything's Everything's happening outside externally and oh, it's all good, but there isn't, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a not a good underneath. And it's something that you can reach. It's not something that is deadly or it's something that you can reach. You just have to allow yourself to access it. Time for a beginner mind, a restart. But this is very novice. In other words, very novice energy, very new very new and that's why you're very def like very defensive that's why um he knows how small he is he knows how vulnerable he is and that's why he wears all his needles on his back so that everybody can see in full display i'm gonna walk in with my guns out so that people won't bother me because you're new here this is like newness and defensiveness because you're new this is almost like yeah your armor, the armor that you wear to protect, predict, uh, to protect the instability underneath. And that armor is um, like swords, like communication. This is Aquarian energy. So it may be how you're communicating, using your communications as your defensiveness. Well, I never said that. Or, oh, he, that, was, that was a misinterpretation from the beginning. Or, oh, they, they, they never should have interpreted that that way. But emotionally underneath, you know that that is exactly how you wanted them to interpret it. And that was exactly what was going on. Like the innuendos were the truth. But if you just looked at the words, you could play it off as something else. And that's almost like what, you're, what you or you're dealing with right now is, 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 is playing on, is, is capitalizing on. But there is something under the surface that is not going to go away until it comes out.
Hmm. Virgo. Co-create with spirit. This is also destiny. Something that is faded and benchmarked. Time to address something. Time for something to come out. This is a card of truth. Raven is the deliverer of truth. And it's a usually a hard to swallow truth, which is why people think raven, ravens are, are dark omens. But they're not. They're just messengers from things that are hidden. And people know that, you know, in other words, a raven only shows up when your intuition's already told you something. You're just trying to not see it. And then believe in yourself, a sense of, don't you believe that if, if the truth comes out, people will still love you? Don't you understand that you need, in, in order to plant in fertile soil, you have to get the poison out? That's the only way. So for the sake of your future, for the sake of being able to plant in fertile soil and have those seeds grow, believing in who you are and, and your value to others, let that be what allows you to, yeah, Tap into that poison, release it, and say, no, I, I know, I know, I know, I know where the radiation's coming from. Even though it may, may make me look bad that I didn't come out and say it right away. Well, if I don't say it, it's just going to get worse. So I know where it's coming from and we got to, and I'll show you when we got to do something about it. That kind of energy. And, and it's because you're realizing that, holy crap, this is going to impact the rest of my future, which is looking so good. It's looking so good, but this thing is going to continue to impact it if I don't sort of admit to it or, or admit to knowing it. Admit to, admit, like, release it. Release it. Not just release it, though. Own it. And face it. Address it. That's what it is. Confront it. You have to confront it. Your grounding energy, okay. Okay. Two cards. Dream the world into being. Yeah. And then bring your ideas to life. So dream the world into being is enlightenment, being enlightened about how the past or the past hurt or the poisons that we try to hide, the skeletons in our closet affect our future. That's what this card is telling you. And that's what's grounding you is the realization that those things that I've tried to push away, those things that I've tried to push back are actually still impacting my what's happening in my future. They're still sort of hovering over it or haunting it. And I need that's why I need to address it because I want my future to be bright. I want it to be fun and I want it to be happy. And it has the potential to be that if I confront those skeletons in my closet. So I have got to purge them no matter how bad it makes me look. And this is the truth coming into light something something being realized or having the energy and the power to basically um makes it's like you, you're it's like you're verging on making something new a brand new existence but is there something off about that brand new existence it's almost like this is like frankenstein's monster type of energy it's like yeah you you have there's all this potential but there's a little bit of seediness and immorality underneath that has got if you if you don't if you don't cast it out or address it it will it, it it will grow to be worse it will grow to be bigger so this is almost like um bring your ideas to life but do you want to bring all this to life? Do you really want to bring the past back from the dead? So you got to get rid of this before you even interject this so that this can be itself in its purity and not drag around because everything, once you set, once you set the electricity to something is all of this will get bigger. So 
What this is telling me is whatever you're dawning on, and it looks like you have a lot of resources and a lot of wonderful things happening to you, but the more energy and more resources you put into everything in your life, it's you, until you address, in other words, the, the, the zombies are still feeding off of it too because they're still there. If you want that siphon to stop happening, you know that that those um, if you want those those ghosts to stop siphoning off your energy, then you have to exercise them. That's the only way. That's the only way. And you have so and this is like the realization of that's your grounding energy is is realizing that oh all the good stuff and just focusing on the good stuff isn't making the bad stuff go away. I have to address the bad stuff itself, like laser surgery, that bad stuff by first of all, admitting it's there and then sussing it out, getting it out because I am on such a wonderful upward swing that I can't bring all the, I can't bring all this stuff up with me too. I have got to not just try to hide it because in hiding it, you're actually helping it grow. So this is about like zapping it, zapping it so it's actually gone. But first that means acknowledging that it's there. And I think that at this point, you're able to do that. Maybe because you've had a lot of time to think or a lot of time to realize and spend time with those people who are closest to you and realize, um, yeah, it, for their sake and for our future's sake, I've got to confront this now because I don't want to bring this into the future and it's not going away. It's actually just multiplying. So Virgo, let me flip this camera. Let me flip the camera around. Okay. <clears throat> so <clears throat> the central energy is right here. Also eight, 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 eight. Now, eight is usually abundance, material resources, money coming to you. So there's lots of money coming to you. It's, it's really good. You've got a lot of material abundance and wealth. But emotionally, there is a sense of burden. There is a sense of doom. There is a sense of something's not right emotionally. And that's what has to be addressed. And so Crow shows up to say, hello, you do realize that what you don't deal with gets carried along wherever you go. So for the sake of the future, it has to be addressed now. Instead of defending it and, 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 and covering it up or being defensive about it, especially in terms of words and statements, you know, trying to act like, convince people that everything is okay. Forget about that because that's not working. The only thing that's going to work is to, is acknowledgement. And facing things dead on, head on, straight on. This is definitely emotional. I don't know if it is like romantic relationship or just something that has to do with the resources coming into your life and, and, and the way that you're getting those resources is bothering you. Not that you're doing anything nefarious, but it's just something that doesn't make you as... It could, it could be something that, that, that makes you more uncomfortable than you're comfortable with. You know what I'm saying? In other words, it's not just stepping outside of your comfort zone. It's more a less, a little bit of a disappointment. Something that is bothering you. Uh, let's get into it with the tarot. Let's, let's suss it out. Maybe we can help you pinpoint the cancer. So all you have to do is the surgery. And then we'll go into your romantic tarot. The link is below, Virgo. And I will see you guys in the extended.